Hey, Richard Miller here again uh, um, from Facts for Working People. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to say today. I just put a I just put a little piece up on my Facebook page, on the blog's Facebook page, because it just it was just staggering for me to read it. What just what what just happened here? And I know I don't know too much detail at the moment, but a guy who had some property, he's got some uh, uh, land, he's got some property on the land. He's a businessman of sorts. He, he's going goes to one of his uh, units. There's a hiker in there who, by all accounts, from what I've read, was a decent sort of fella. But he broke in there to take a shower. He was hiking. He was up in Washington State, I think. And so the guy uh, sees him in there or hears him in there or whatever. Goes back to the main residence. Get, grabs his pistol, comes back and shoots the guy four times through the shower curtain. And I mean, I just thought about that and I thought, what is this madness? Anyone that's not appalled by this, there's something wrong with you. You don't shoot somebody for that. You call the police or whatever. You just don't do that. And it happens all too often. I'm not talking about uh, 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 killings by the state here. We've, everybody uh, the, the, uh, knows about those uh, around the world, surely. But just you can't do that. You know, there's this. You can't just kill people. But there's almost this worship of it. Oh yeah, you diss me. I'm going to blow your head off on my lawn. I'm going to blow your head off. You know, I have guns. I be, I have a believe in the right to have a gun. I have guns. Most of my friends probably do. We do. We don't. That's not uh, a popular uh, worldview. But it just sort of disgusted me. Disgusted me. And. Part of that, it, part of this, what's existing in this country, uh, people, you watch Hollywood, forget Hollywood. It's, it, I, I feel sometimes in order to counter Hollywood, it's like you, uh, in the old Stalinist days, the old Soviet Union, where they whitewashed photographs of people and yet uh, uh, they completely suppressed uh, uh, propaganda was, was so uh, pr prevalent. Well, it's the same here. It's just their masters here at control, uh, 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 but they're getting tighter in relation to, to the question of freedoms i mean people there's a massive depression to be quite honest with you that's sort of uh, um ex it's um exampled by the the, the no voting it's advanced exampled by the uh, uh, drug addiction which has led to a, a, a decline in white living standard li uh, mortality rates and things like this and if you think about it why would you not be you look at this health care bill i mean americans are not uh, uh, um, uh, unfriendly and uh, people. They're not people that don't care about the world around them, just like anybody else. But look at this health bill that was just rejected. You know why it was rejected? By the, uh, uh, and it was blocked by the right wing neo fascist types. It was rejected because Obamacare had a provision in it which did not allow insurance companies and who the hell why do we need an insurance company to get medical care it's that's another issue it didn't allow insurance companies to deny you coverage for existing uh, conditions in other words if you were sick you couldn't get insurance coverage I have a friend who's got a serious illness. He couldn't get insurance coverage. There's millions of people who can't get insurance coverage uh, because they're sick. It's bizarre. It's uncivilized. You know, they don't. They're so opposed to a communistic, communistic quote national health system. Um, th that in itself, just when you witness that, you know, most people look at that and they think, "What sort of sickness?" What they hate the politicians. They hate them. And also, um, just what uh, Trump signed a bill, uh, I think it was yesterday, never mind he's di di dismantling, he's put a guy in charge of the EPA, which uh, it t protects to a certain extent the social environment, he who hates the EPA. Uh, 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 but this is all going on. It's de it depresses people. You see the headline in the paper, and I was talking to a woman this morning about it, in the paper yesterday, how Trump says, if the Chinese won't stop Korea, we will. It's this nonsense barroom talk from a, an individual who's never worked, got everything in his life, never had to struggle or anything like that. And this person is, in, is, is uh, the President of the United States, a degenerate uh, misogynist and racist. It's just unbelievable. And it has its effect. People, you can't shut that out if you're a human being. And it's led to this somber move of depression that's part and parcel of the drug addiction that goes on. And I've been, I've been criticised, and people have on this blog, for, for, for having a 
principle or a, a habit of attacking the trade union leadership, of raising the trade union leadership, normally from lefties who, uh, whose argument is, well, they're never going to do anything. Of course, more often than not, it's from lefties that never actually openly fight them either and openly struggle against them for the consciousness of the members and the working class as a whole. So it's an excuse with some, a lot of them. It's just an excuse to do nothing. Uh, and, um, but I've been accused of that. But why mu must we do that? They, they are responsible for Trump, for the rise of Trump, and, and, f and for, the, for the condition, for the, the situation that exists socially. What, why is that? If you talk to a number of young people, for example, and you raise that there's 800,000 workers affiliated to the, San, to the uh, LA Labor Council, for, they, they're, just sta they're staggered by the numbers. They don't even think of the unions, and you can't blame them for thinking of the unions. But why I say we have to raise this is because part of the, the depression, the alienation, is that there is no social force to turn to, no counter ideologically to the ideological, uh, ideology of the bourgeois. We have debates between capitalist politicians in capitalist parties that discuss capitalism. There's no, uh, uh, there's no ideology that even comes close to challenging, as it does in other countries, uh, challenging this ideology. So, so you have to raise... Uh, uh, you have to raise them because there is that force there. The trade union, uh, the organised labour, is small and it's smaller than it once was, and it's losing ground. It's under assault. Everything uh, is true uh, that critics say about it. It's only seven percent of the working class are organised in the private sector. If, if you include the public, it goes up to about twelve. Uh, um, but nevertheless, we're talking about fourteen million people in established organisations. There will be turmoil in those organisations as the crisis develops. Uh, 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 no matter what, you will that will occur. But the reason why we, we must uh, 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 raise them is it's not habit it's not some principle I always liken it to imagine if you're in the desert struggling for water you're a group of people uh, and there's a guy that's got water he's got his little uh, you've got maybe a couple of wagons or something or camels or whatever the hell it was uh, 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 this is just an example and the guy's got water you wouldn't say well oh no we, we've got, he's got the resources we must and he's not going to give us that you, you know what I mean or somebody had some sort of solution to the problem, you wouldn't ignore them. And you shouldn't ignore the trade union leadership. They have to be pointed to, because there is an organisation there, there's a lot, and a leadership of an organisation, that has allowed this to occur. That's one of the main reasons why we are in the situation we're in. The primary reason is capitalism. The, the primary enemy is the capitalist class. Uh, but the trade union leadership, the heads of the working class, not just here, but internationally, are to blame for why we're where we're at. But, but the main point I wanted to th think about when I, when I sat down here this morning was that issue of the guy that shot somebody. You know, I've heard he's going to get two, two uh, t uh, he's been charged with secondary murder. But it just happens all too often here. There's when you watch a Hollywood movie and you see those damn houses, these beautiful neighborhoods that you see in all these Hollywood movies... No one can own those houses in the Hollywood movie. If you, if, if people, if you own a house like that, being a working class or a middle class, what we call here often middle class is working class person, you might be able to get it in Alabama, in Idaho, uh, in the, uh, somewhere where the, you can't get a job. You might retire to somewhere, a neighborhood like that, or a house that size or whatever. You can go out in California, away from the Bay Area here, and get a house much cheaper. But when you watch your Hollywood movies, that's not the United States that, that exists, and that exists for millions of people. They, uh, uh, if you've got no money in this country, you're worthless. You can be a Vietnam veteran, Iraq veteran. You can have, have worked all your life. If you have no money, people like Trump, uh, a lot of people voted for him uh, that, that thought that they hate the regular politicians so much, they thought that he might be, uh, uh, be an alternative, might, might in desperation might pr bring back a job that give them a, a decent living. And they're, they're, they're getting the, the camels, or what is it, the chickens are coming home to roost. Anyway, these are just a couple of comments. Uh, um, and I'll talk to you next time. Richard Miller with Facts for Working People. Read our blog and follow, it, follow us on Facebook as well.